the selfish gene. Uh, I would guess that most people are familiar with at least the very expression such. Uh, I'm not sure if, if people are familiar with the actual meaning, the, the, the essence of this idea. Because uh, some people have made this interpretation that some kind of neoliberal theory to, to, to justify competition and, and such things that uh, humans are egoistic and selfish because they are genetically programmed or hardwired for um, being so. This in no way is the point. This is not what the selfish gene is about. Um, the point is that you, little man, are not the one in command. You're not, you do not even have access to command this bridge. Uh, you're actually just the vehicle, the host of this selfish little gene. And the gene cares little actually about your survival, what happens to you or your body or what happens to other humans related to you, what happens to uh, the collective that you're a part of. It only cares about this because they are means of her own survival. Uh, as a human, you're supposed to participate because uh, this is how this selfish gene has arranged for things. Yeah, uh, social species and dependent. So make sure you have a, a network. And yeah, you do as you told and you might actually believe that this was your decision. Fuck you. Uh, forget that. Uh, makes you feel somewhat bigger, somewhat more powerful. But it's a uh, damn fucking lie. And you know that, damn care. The selfish gene. The only thing, only thing that's just interesting in is you surviving till some 20 years of age. Uh, the years are not relevant, only that reproductive age and that you do reproduce and assure her survival for yet another generation. It's just that uh, he's not really aware, you see. Um, he has no idea how what you may have done for her, uh, how ambitious you have been, how much you have reproduced or worked for her survival. Uh, so she keeps yelling at you. Until at last you're beyond reproductive age, and then perhaps you will let you settle down. Still, by then you may actually be so tamed, so deeply grooved down into those 
behavior so you will keep watching for her even if she doesn't actually command you uh, and this is what uh, what's driving people and keeps driving people beyond any rational reasons when you look upon this mass migrations people in thousands acting as one going against all common sense all logic and they appear as if spellbound as a, um, a horde of zombies or yeah, get this idea perhaps but conspirations is there a driving force behind them yes there is but it's not telepathy it's no conspiration it's no witch master it's just this selfish gain and uh, yeah I might actually make a parallel uh, you know uh, this American circus uh, called Kiss uh, it's um, uh, dictated by these two guys Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley and they have a very good sense for making business and uh, uh, making money getting powerful uh, how things work um, for them and the parallel is that um, things work more or less the same way uh, both this pop project and humanity as a whole uh, it's very clear that the, this whole thing is all about the selfish gene fuck yeah. I made this promise about punchlines forget the last one